Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Basilius in Europa Universal 4. Alright, so unfortunately the Ottomans are, as expected, incredibly strong. 33,000 troops right now with 14,000 manpower. Unfortunately, as well, our friend Albania is not very smart. He spent all of his money to buy our boats and then he got rid of them. Uh, so maybe they should work on that a little bit. Uh, it would be great if he had a couple of galleys because the Venetian Navy is rather good. They have about the same amount of ships, but um, not, not quite as aggressive. It'll come down to whether or not Venice keeps their navy together. Um, I think that if they kept it all together, they could actually beat the Ottomans, but they are an AI, so... Okay, uh, let's go ahead. I, I've decided we're going to commit to helping out our friend since he spent all of his money to buy our boats and then got rid of them. Let's come back from... from Trebizond for now. We don't have to worry about our alliance uh, status right now because the Ottomans will not declare two wars at once. That's good. Um, I believe renting out all of our condottieri, all of our troops as condottieri, will prevent us from picking up an alliance with Trebizond, though. Negative 19 reasons. Distance between borders. Alright. So, I, uh, I I do think we do this. We, we fully commit to this. We're going to rent all of our troops as condottieri. He's actually willing to pay us, which is kind of nice of him. War balance looks good, he thinks. Have you picked up an, another ally that I'm not aware of? Okay, the, you pulled the knights in. It was guaranteed by Serbia as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so Serbia is in the war. We are absolutely getting involved here. Absolutely. I mean, I like him, but I'm not going to lie. I would like him to pay a little bit more. <laughs> if he would just, you know, not think that the war balance looks so good, that'd be great. All right, so our troops have almost no morale, uh, which is not, uh, not ideal, but... Once the devastation is gone, we can turn off the Fort Maria. And I wanted to just check real quick to see if he is... Yes, he he really thinks our, our army is weak now because we rented out most of our troops. Still willing to accept a royal marriage if we wanted to open with that. I would like to take this time to secure a couple of extra alliances. Alright, so it looks like the Ottoman's army is all here right now. He was smarter than expected. Let's, uh, let's hang out in Epirus then. We're going to go to Athens. Let's tell... Armies that they may attach to us, let's tell our subject to be supportive. Make sure that he bands up here. Oh wait, hold on, our subject's not in the war, he, he can't do that. Okay, well, what we need to do is just give, give Helpania a little bit of breathing room. So that Venice can get here. Because it's going to take the Ottomans a long time to siege down the Albanian capital. Even though it's only a level 1 fort, it is a... A mountain province, and the national ideas of Albania, I think, give them port defensiveness. Yeah, 20%. So his capital province has 37.2% defensiveness. He will be able to delay for quite a while. I guess we do open up with a, a longer-term relationship here. I'll take the, the legitimacy hit in order to secure an extra alliance right now. We don't have any other natural enemies. Like, no one else can actually declare war on us right now. No one even has a CB against us, so... We're pretty fine in that way. Alright, that's what we want to see. We want to see them suffering ridiculous amounts of attrition for no reason at all with like their entire army. It would be great. We could try to intersect this five stack of infantry with no leader. Most likely that army's coming down here to fight us. And you are going in the wrong direction, sir. Will we be able to complete our siege before he gets down here? 21 days? I highly doubt it. So let's just move into the mountains. Behind Albania. We want Albania to lead our troops to glory. A 555 is slightly better than a 523, just by a little bit. Um, looks like Venice has a 9 stack here already. And he's offering up an incredible 0 0 general for combat purposes. Venice is heading here too. I'm already locked. Um, I would prefer for you to not stay in here, please. Like, let me siege this one. You siege that one. We'll just kind of hang out. We could relieve the siege here. There's actually no leader. Depending on where this army goes, we might want to go do that. Status quo as well, so his siege will go even slower. Let's see, we're playing vanilla E4, so there is um, no combat width reduction, right? Full combat width, I believe. Also get our alliance now with Trebizond, and then... How close are we to a royal marriage with you? Negative 19 and negative 16 for the alliance. I'd like to get at least one of these provinces sieged. 
All right, that army is definitely out of position up here in Vidin. Muscovy is getting started on their war with uh, Novgorod. Let's wait seven more days, and then I'm, I'm I'm thinking that we lead the charge in the the sally <laughs> against the Ottoman army, especially if this stays in the wrong area. Now the Serbian army is not showing as blue, uh, just like the the Venetian army, but they are in the war. So there's actually a lot of troops here. We've occupied this. We apparently transferred it to Albania, and then Albania immediately gave it to Venice because I guess Venice wants that land. It's not ideal since it is our core. It's really not ideal, especially because we wanted Albania to maybe, maybe be generous to us and maybe return some cores like they did in one of my streams. All right, uh, so Albania is right here. They're two provinces away. This guy is locked and he won't arrive for five days here. We have 11 troops. We've got Corfu and Naxos are both involved in this war. So even though this is going to cost me some manpower, uh, I think that we just need to force the Ottomans to lose this battle here. I, I want them to respond to to a bad fight, especially when there's no leader. I, I, I'm, I'll lead the charge. Looks like these guys are also attached to me as well, which is great. He's immediately responding to that, as expected. Let's see how we get, how we do. Looks like Serbia is going to come help out, help out as well. All right, let's see how we do. We are fighting against no leader. He rolls an eight, but Andronikos Angelos rolls a one but his five fire value makes up for it, and we end up being equal. They have 2.7 morale. We have better morale. They do have better discipline because of their national ideas. They have much, much higher starting morale, probably just because I had my, my army not at full maintenance at the start. So let's see how we, how we do here. We are flanking. Fortunately, our cav are not being hit, which is great for reinforcement. And uh, Corfu and Naxos have deployed in the center. That's great news. And Dronikos Angelos has rolled a 7 plus 2. So 9 versus a 5, even better. And now here comes in the Serbian reinforcements. We are frontlining a lot of this damage, but I, I have faith. I have so much faith in Dronikos Angelos. He is the leader. The leader that we need. He's so good that uh, the Ottomans aren't even going to try to reinforce, apparently. Skanderbeg, you are being outshined here by Andronikos, who can't roll well, very well. So we lost some troops here. Um... Most likely, we lost probably like half of that, if not a little bit more. But the Ottomans lost way more overall. And uh, in theory, a lot of army tradition was gained. I highly doubt that we got any of that because we're doing something weird with Condottieri here. Movement speed's really, really, really good. We have already decent maneuver on him. That basically gives us equivalent to five maneuver pips, 25% increased movement speed. The fact that we're playing on the current version of the game, the newest version of the game, uh, where all armies move at 70% of what they used to, I think... Knowing Paradox, the way they did the math is they just basically... It took away six pips worth of maneuver from every country, every every uh, army. So, I would expect that having 70% base movement speed plus 25% from the movement speed trait and then three maneuver would probably put us at 95% of normal movement speed. Now, we would prefer to not suffer attrition, if possible. 3.8 is quite a bit. Let's uh, see if we can find a direction to go that we can actually get out before the end of the month. Um, yeah, we'll go to Durez, because I don't expect that uh, Serbia is going to be smart enough to get out of here. And another army here that we would like to fight. Now, the great thing is we are not actually in this war. <laughs> so we do not need to worry about him coming and just sieging down our lands. And doing that thing where the AI does nothing but focus on the player. Also nice with our three maneuver that we actually can reinforce pretty well in non-friendly territory. I would be willing to engage this army just about anywhere. Even in even in bad terrain. Let's we'll see if we can track that thing down. Anytime he has a leaderless army, with our, our bonus movement speed, it's going to be so easy to hunt it down. I will be rather upset if this war goes incredibly well for Albania and Albania decides to give all of the land to Venice because of Venice's like participation or something and just gives all of our cores to Venice because that means we would have to fight Venice and then we're just dealing with another enemy who we would prefer to not have to fight. But looks like uh, Skanderbeg's got the same idea. Going after, going after that same army. What does Albania desire? Fortunately, he does not desire our cores. You're at war, but that doesn't mean you wouldn't accept an alliance. Let's make sure that he knows that we're friendly. Let's be bros. Let's be friends, man. Let's start improving relations with Albania. 
it is still a defensive war, and as long as he's, his war score is not too high, we could, if things look really, really good, we could just offer an alliance now, and he could actually call us in, and then we can maybe just participate directly, and kind of force him to, to transfer things to us. So, Albania is arriving on the 21st. We are not coming in until a while after that, on the 28th, but he can't get out till the 23rd. Looks like Skanderbeg's got this under control. He only has a 5 stack, so he's not going to be able to flank. Um, there's going to be a lot of troops in this province. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to suffer a lot of attrition if we head here. And I would rather not do that. But, let's uh, let's do it anyway. Let's let's make sure that our 2 cav arrive to help, help do some flanking. Besides, the combat might be over the very, very beginning of January. In which case, yeah, there's our cav doing some work. Scanderbag. Look at Scanderbag. My goodness. Rolling an 11. Looks like Mammoths have already started off winning wars. Cool. Well, I can't split my army to Carpet Siege, but we can definitely stay in Vidin if everyone else leaves. Who is attached to us right now? We've got both of the Venetian One Province Minor derps. This, this is good. We actually want the Ottomans to unseach the things that Venice occupies. Okay. Georgia. That's like plan B. Negative 11 reasons still for that. I think that the, the Lithuanian alliance might not be necessary. Naive relative. A close family member. A close member of the family of the ruler has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royalty might cause unrest. Uh, I'm not too worried about compromised spy defense. The only person that's going to likely be fabricating on us are the Ottomans. And uh, if not them, maybe the, uh, the, the Genoese or the Venetians. But their claims won't matter. If we do end up allying Albania, then we have just so much local power. Make sure we siege down the things that he is interested in as well. Skanderbag moving over to Tarnovo. There is a fort in Macedonia and a Dirn. And he's obviously got them both on. Looks like Venice got started with a siege right away. He already has three siege status. And uh, I, I am amazed to see that there is an actual active blockade here right now. It looks like the Ottoman navy is too stupid to have grouped up. And he's just letting them all sit in port. <laughs> All right, that's wonderful news. Looks like this war is going to go incredibly well for Albania. We need to get in before the war score is too high in the right in the wrong direction. Could you not be? Uh, could could you could you please not be unhappy with me? Improved relations plus one. We only got plus one. That's weird. We should have been. We should have gone up by four. We just had the January tick. I know I've. I left him there. Did it? Did it actually decay? On in January, even though we had an active diplomat improving relations. If so, that is that is different than it used to be. I think that that may be what just happened, though. I have no other explanation for how we could possibly be at plus one improved relations. Very strange. Okay. So, let's see. Byzantine army strength is only at 7. Diplomatic reputation is not going to be enough. We can't hire an advisor for that. Not the same religion. What else could we do to make you happy? Make you really like us? Proclaiming a guarantee would not work because uh, he would not be able to call us in. That's only when the war declaration happens. Late war, late, late call-ins can happen if you're allies, but not, not just with uh, the guarantee. Tunis has declared war on Djerid. Okay, they did take back Epirus. So unfortunately, Albania does desire provinces that border their our cores, but nothing that is actually our core. Let's see. Albania has rivaled Ragusa. Any chance we can rival Ragusa too? Ragusa, just so you know, I don't like you. I really want this first war to go well. We're going to be hanging out in defensive terrain in Sofia. 
This 15 stack is marching to Vlor, which is fine. It's, it's just kind of marching around doing nothing. Uh, we're looking to suffer normal attrition here. No matter what, we're going to suffer some attrition. The idea that we're suffering 1% um, of our entire army is rather unfortunate. 11,000, so we're losing like 110 manpower. It's basically our entire monthly gain. But, at this point, I don't think we can get out before the end of the month. Actually, we can. Alright, well, I am going to leave then, because I actually want this war to not go as well as it's going. If it keeps going as well as it's going, we're not going to be able to get involved. And I'm, I'm afraid that Venice is in, that Venice and Serbia are going to have too much war participation, and it's going to cause Albania to not be interested in doing anything else. One advantage we have, though, is that Albania is the defender in a reconquest war, so... That means that anything that they take is going to cost Diplo points, and they might be more interested in using, like, return core and stuff. Is that an Ottoman stack wipe right there? Yeah, they have negative 22 war score right now. He is heading this way. Let's uh, head over to Zeta and just kind of hang out in the mountains for a moment and see if we can finally pick up an alliance. I'm also going to make Corfu and Naxos not participate in the war for a little bit. They're just going to come hang out with me. They like me a lot. Skanderbeg is fearless. Serbia is as well. They're both going after the capital here. Honestly, if I were the Ottomans, I would just take my army and just go kill this thing right now. It's a no... It's basically a no-leader army in flat terrain. And you've got more than they do with tons of cav. Like, what are you doing? The Ottomans are making some serious mistakes here. Create a proper fleet. Um, I don't like any of these missions right now. Recover the, the Asia Minor Coast is like these provinces over here. I'm going to take this mission and then just cancel it. Because I don't want to see it again. And you can't get the same mission back to back as far as I know. So, hopefully we can get something better than that. The Steel has declared war upon Tlemcen. Supply 17 here. Um, well, the little derps that are attaching to me might suffer attrition, but I won't, because we have Maneuver. He's trying to unoccupy Vlor. The Siege in Macedonia goes very well. It looks like he's getting an advantage because the garrison is at half. Foolish, foolish Ottomans, you should have kept your fort on, silly guy. So not only has he got a blockade, but he also has half garrison plus one. If only he had siege pips, like, say, I don't know, one of our guys with plus one, or maybe... Maybe if we let him use his subjects? No, his subjects don't have it. Does Serbia have any siege pips? Nope. I'm the only one with siege pips. Cool. Technically, he could come to us, but he'd have to cross the river into the mountains to do so. Looks like we're even getting a Venetian army trying to attach. This war is going incredibly poorly for the Ottomans right now. I think 17 reasons. Until you stop being neutral toward us, then you will not accept an alliance. What do I need to do to make you happy, man? I'm going to guarantee him. It doesn't really cost me anything. Um, well, we do have four relations already, so that would cost me a relationship slot, but I'm, I'm, I'm intending to ally him anyway, and it's just Diplo points, I don't really care about those if it makes us come out of this first war with flying colors. We could always abandon another relationship. Enforce peace. That's not really an option. The drawback to proclaiming the guarantee is that it's going to, um, oh, oh, okay, I know what happened now. Improved relation. I was looking at the wrong one. Derp, I'm a dum-dum. I completely forgot. This is uh, my opinion of him. <laughs> His opinion of me is definitely going up at the normal amount. So, that core mechanic has not changed. <laughs> Alright, uh... Maybe we could send him a gift for extra military relationship status. Uh, or sorry, extra opinion. Um, I, I don't see how this is really going to make a big difference right now. We can't rival one of his enemies. I can't set as interest any provinces that would make him, like, see us as an ally, I think. Come on, Skanderbeg, be, be a bro. Let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? It looks like the war is going to go really in our favor here. Um, 
We could potentially just declare our own war right now if this army gets routed across the strait. With Venetian naval strength being really high, if Adirin falls, then they will be stuck on the other side until that war resolves. I would honestly rather just join the Albanian war rather than declare my own, but I will consider that option if, if that looks to be the best way to go. I'm just worried that the Ottomans, because of the way that the AI works, they don't like to be in two wars at once, and they also like to really, really focus down the player. Um, that is a thing, I swear, it's not fake. It is a thing that they do, I've seen it, it's real. Um, so the thing is that if we, if we declare war on the Ottomans, they'll just peace out Albania as soon as things look grim, which is really risky for us. This makes no sense at all. Somehow he is deciding that crossing with no leader times two into a 23 stack, is this like about to fall or something? No. So why would you do this? Skanderbeg is there, man. This is, this is just nonsensical. In five days, the Ottomans are just murdering 10,000 of their young men. And there it is! Scanner Beg rolls a 10 versus a 3 in the first fire phase. Let's watch the Ottomans die. Ready? Watch the numbers. Nice. Scanner Beg rolls a 12 versus an 8. Yeah, that, that's Scanner Beg for you. And stack wipe? Yeah! There goes uh, 10,000 Ottomans. Suddenly, the Ottomans don't look nearly as strong as they did before. Um, if we look at... Probably force them would be the best way to just find them quickly. Yeah, they're down to 25k troops. They've already marked up 13, and they're at negative 26 war score, which now, I think, does probably restrict our ability to join this war. I believe the threshold's 25. So, I will be needing to probably declare my own war if anything's going to happen. Hmm. Let's try to get Albania to peace out soon, then. So I would like to see how they resolve their war before they, before we declare our own. Because honestly, if we declare our own war, we're probably going to end up fighting the Ottomans by ourselves. Right, supply here is 14 and 14. I'm probably not going to suffer attrition, but we might. Because there's a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes attached to me right now. Yeah, I'm going to suffer the normal amount. That's good. The other guys are probably suffering more than that. 1.3 is the amount that should be suffered, and actually is what we're suffering now. I suppose we could also just go to, Al to Macedonia and provide him with our siege pit, but it's quite possibly going to fall on its own. Nope. Ender's Desert. Okay. Well, I am amazed to see how well this little coalition of derps is uh, doing against the Ottomans. Especially with our extra troops, they are uh, really on track to win. Let's uh, take a break here, and in the next episode we'll see if we can maybe get something out of this for, uh, for our generous offerings. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode. I'll see you soon.